Hi, welcome back to my channel. This video will be a little bit grammar focused. This video is about conditional if. What is conditional if? So in everyday conversation, it's very common that we use if when we are talking. For example, if you come to my house, I will cook some good food for you. If I were you, I will say yes to him. So when we use if, it's like we talk about the condition and then followed by the prediction or the result uh, that we think uh, it may happen or uh, it may not happen, the likelihood of happening, whether it's likely to happen or it's unlikely to happen, or we can use conditional to express. So basically, there are a few conditionals. In this video, we are going to focus on three conditionals. And they are first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. As you can see, uh, there is a simple sentence for each conditional. And for all the, these three conditionals, their uh, usage are different, and then their grammar in terms of uh, tenses uh, are different as well. So let's focus on the first conditional. For first conditional, as you can see, there are three sentences. Let's look at the first one. If I have enough time, I will watch television every night. What does it, what does this mean? Um, it means if I really have time uh, at night, I will definitely watch TV. So this is very likely to happen. So then I use first conditional. And for the second example, if it rains, we will stay at home. So probably if you look at look out now and then you see uh it started it, it starts raining, then okay, then we will stay home. We will stay at home. If I do not eat breakfast, I will get hungry during class. So as you can see these three sentences here, they are using first conditional. Um uh, for the result clause or main clause, uh, they are very likely to happen. Then we use first conditional. And as you can see that I um, sort of uh, separate the sentence into two parts. The first part, uh, we call them if clause. If you have the if in that clause, that is if clause. And for the if clause, we use simple present. Have, rains, do not eat. For the result, we call, we call it main clause or we call it result clause. We use will plus base form. What is base form? Base form means the verb itself, the original verb without adding any S, E, S, E, D or D. And how about second conditional? When do we use second conditional? So for second conditional, as compared to first conditional, which is likely to happen, second conditional uh, is when we say that uh, something is unlikely to happen. For example, look at the four sentences. If I had enough time, I will watch television later on. So probably right in front of you, I'm very, e very busy. And then maybe I'm busy working, I'm busy studying. Then, you know, right in front of you, I tell you this. If I had enough time, I will watch television later on. But most likely, and then it's very unlikely that I don't have time because I'm very busy. So I use second conditional. And for the second sentence, if he taught this class, he would not give tests. You know, in actual fact, he is not the teacher of this class. So no matter whether he would give tests or he would not give tests, that doesn't matter because in actual fact, this cannot happen. No matter how it is, it will not happen. It cannot happen. Okay. And how about the third sentence and the fourth sentence with the star? Okay, let's look at them. If I were you, I would accept his invitation. And in actual fact, I can never be you. In this, in my whole life, I cannot be you. So this is more like a supposition or imagination. Then I use second conditional. Then I say, if I were you, I will accept his invitation. Or for the fourth sentence, if my sister were here, 
she would know the answer. So uh, the situation could be, you know, I, you and I, um, we are thinking about the, the the answer of certain question and then we don't know how to answer then then I come out with this sentence that I say if my sister were here she would know the answer but you know that in actual fact you you and I we are talking here and then my sister is not here there's no way that he there's no way that she help us with the question so this is why I use second conditional if my sister were here she wouldn't know the answer and why I put the stars for these two sentences because we should take note that when it comes to singular subject or plural subject we use were we don't use was for example if I was you I would accept his invitation some people they use was but you know was it's uh, it's more informal and to be more accurate and more formal we should just use were. So for both plural subject and singular subject, we use were. Another example, if she were you, she normally you read, we use was, right? So, but for this second conditional, we use if she were you, she would accept his invitation. So for the grammar of using second conditional, for if clause, we use past simple. We change have into past simple, become had. We change teach into past simple, become taught. We change is, are, am into past simple, become were. That's for if clause. And for main clause or result clause, we use would plus base form. How about third conditional? Let's look at third conditional. For third conditional, it's to talk about something that is impossible to happen. What does that mean impossible to happen? It's often related to something that already happened, something in the past. Let's look at the examples. If I had had enough time, I would have watched television yesterday. So now we are talking about yesterday. Yesterday, probably I was very busy. I didn't have time at all to watch television. And today, when I see you, I say something like this. If I had, had enough time, I would have watched television yesterday. But there's no way. There's, there's no way it will happen. It's impossible because you and I, we can you know, go back to yesterday. Yesterday is already past. The second example, if she had walked carefully, she would not have fallen down. And this is impossible to happen because she had already fallen down some time in the past. And the last sentence, if they have told me about the problems, I would have helped them. But in actual fact, they didn't tell me the problem. And then maybe this problem has already been solved. So there's something to do with something that is impossible to happen. So that is when we use third conditional, when we talk about something already in the past, already happened, and then we use if to talk about something that is impossible to happen when it is related to the past. And in terms of grammar for third conditional, as you can see, for if clause, we use past perfect. What is past perfect? Past perfect tense is formed by had plus past participle. So you can see the underlying example, had, had. What is a past participle? Past participle is the third column. So had walk, had told. And for main clause and result clause, we use would have plus past participle. So would have watched, would not have fallen, would have helped. In conclusion, these three conditional, we use them differently to talk about different situations, especially it related to the 
likelihood of something happening. For first conditional, we talk about something that is likely to happen. Second conditional, uh, we talk about something that is unlikely to happen. Third conditional, uh, we talk about something that is impossible to happen because it's already in the past. And in terms of grammar, uh, especially tenses, we should pay attention to uh, the differences and it takes some time for us to be familiarized with the use of uh, different tenses when it comes to first, second, third conditional. Of course, this video I show you if clause, they are all at the beginning of the sentence. You can also use if clause in such a way, for example, I will watch television every night if I have enough time. I would watch television later on if I had enough time. I would have watched television yesterday if I had had enough time. So if clause mustn't be at the beginning of the sentence. So it really depends on you how you want to say it. So I hope you find this video useful and then uh, you will have better understanding of how we use different conditionals uh, correctly. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.